Hey guys, welcome to this video. And today's video is important if you are noticing that you have increased hair loss. It can be, for example, temporary recession, diffuse thinning, or just increased hair shedding. And I will talk about why it is so important to solve this problem as soon as possible. And I will talk about time factor, hair growth cycle, uh, what happens when the follicles has to be reactivated. And if you do stick to the end of this video, I will also share six steps that you can implement to keep your follicles active. And if you're new to the channel or a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new, make sure that you do subscribe to get the latest notification of the new content. A quick introduction, my name is Alex, and I'm previously hair loss sufferer who was able to re back my own hair. And I'm also a certificate trichologist. So let's dive into today's video about uh, hair shedding and why it is important to solve it as soon as possible. And you may have heard about time factor, and it is true that if you are waiting and not addressing the hair loss uh, and it keeps progressing, it becomes uh, basically a problem because it will be much harder to solve it. It will require much stronger treatment, much stronger approach to address the hair loss that has been occurring for a while compared to, for example, hair loss that has just happened recently. Uh, for example, for someone who has a stress lady hair loss, what happens is that he may be able to fully recover from this hair loss when the stress is gone. Uh, and if it has happened, for example, in a very relative short time frame. Same, for example, if someone has a hair loss from, for example, skull problems, such as dermatitis or inflammation, if one solves those problems uh, fast, uh, it can help to recover hair fast as well. Like if you check my previous videos, uh, I have had some interviews with the guys who have made a full in recovery from uh, addressing and solving their online problems such as inflammation and dermatitis uh, without even adding a growth stimulant such as minoxidil. And this is something that is important to remember, right? So you want to solve the hair loss fast uh, when you first notice it, uh, because time factor is important here. Uh, other thing is that there is a hair growth cycle, right? So basically what happens here is that hair grow through different phases in the growth process. Uh, like most of the hair in a healthy hair cycle stay in adhesion phase. And uh, then some of the hair, they go through, for example, shed phases, such as a ketogen and telogen phase. And then again, um, they exit or ex have exogen phase where they kind of uh, fall out again. And then new adhesion uh, phase starts over again, right? And it's kind of cycles that continues. But if there are online problems, let's say, for example, there is a DHT problem uh, or a nutritional problem or, for example, uh, gut problems or uh, even skull problems, what will happen is that the hair won't be able to restart that hair cycle and more of the hair will go into something that is called ketogen phase or a standby phase. And what will happen next is that the hair follicle will just stay empty. There will, uh, they will be able to produce hair, right? But they are kind of staying in standby modules. The hair are not growing out again. And if the hair loss, uh, for example, problem is continuing, the more hair will stay in that ketogen phase and there will be less and less follicles that will be active to produce new hair. Uh, and if, for example, there is also, let's say, a high DHT sensitivity, what will happen, there is also uh, will be uh, some irritizations that will occur and here follicles will start to miniaturize and uh, in combination of uh, inactive follicles, miniaturized follicles, it will just make that here situation will become uh, progressively worse. And this is something that needs to be addressed uh, again as soon as possible, because if it continues, it will be so much harder to recover from it. Uh, because uh, when it comes to the follicles and reactivization of follicles, uh, it is a process that takes uh, can take several months. Like I remember first time when I started with the growth stimulation with minoxidil, it did take me uh, around uh, six, seven months before I noticed that uh, my hair are recovering. Right? So it was a long process because I had a hair loss that has, was advanced and I hadn't addressed it for many years. Right? So I did add, take, for example, finasteride, but the problem for me was that um, I got scalp inflammatory problems and dermatitis, and I have spoken about in previous videos that you can check up on, uh, where I talk about inflammatory problems and how to address them if you are suffering from inflammation or dermatitis in your scalp. But basically what happened is that I was not able to apply minoxidil in my scalp because of those problems. And uh, because of it, basically, my hair follicle kind of follicles kind of stayed inactive and a lot of them ended up in a ketogen phase and they were not growing. So when I first added a growth stimulant after I was able to solve my inflammatory problems on the scalp, 
uh, I didn't see results from growth stimulant for many months, right? Like I said, it did take for me six, seven months before I actually started to notice that growth stimulant was working for me. And uh, that uh, kind of uh, long time frame I could have avoided if I didn't have skull problems and if I had uh, basically taken action much earlier and addressed uh, the problem much sooner. And the problem for me was that I was trying to avoid this issue, right? I was trying to uh, ignore it and uh, not basically take action about the hair loss. And that was the problem. And because of it, basically what happened is that my, too many of my follicles, they basically ended up in catagenic phase and restarting them did take time. For example, nowadays, if I have some problem, my, uh, for example, my hair cycle, or I have increased shedding from something that I do wrong, uh, I'm able to recover much sooner. Like I'm able to recover in a couple of uh, weeks or months times because my follicles are active. Right? So I don't need to reactivate the follicles because follicles are active compared to, for example, a situation where one has to reactivate the follicles uh, and that is a process that takes much longer time. But recovering from the problems, if one takes action fast and knows what is the problem and that is causing the hair shed, uh, one can recover the hair much sooner. Right? So that's why, for example, one can see that some can have a results from the treatment in a couple of months' time, uh, let's say one to two months, maybe three months' time, compared to someone who have been uh, having a, a baldness problem uh, for longer time, such as a couple of years, for example, it will take much longer time to recover from those problems as well. Uh, even if one does everything correctly, it still will take time to recover the follicles. And I also want to share a couple of tips that can help you to keep the follicles active. And it is basically making sure that you have enough fatty acids in diet, making sure that you have an antioxidant diet that helps with uh, oxidative stress, for example. Also making sure that you have enough protein in diet, which is important for hair growth, uh, because hair are made from protein. B vitamins, such as biotin, B12, can help you make hair grow faster. Uh, and of course, also making sure that you don't have any DHT sensitivity, right? DHT has to be addressed as well. Even if you are, for example, not having genetic hair loss, if you're having uh, several online problems, it can affect and cause DHT sensitivity. Uh, an easy way to see it is basically if you're noticing, for example, mineralization of your hair, right? If the hair are mineralizing, the new hair that are growing out are kind of lighter, thinner, and let's say grow slower, for example, that's kind of called mineralization. And that's a problem that also needs to be addressed if you want to have a healthy hair growth. And for you guys who are struggling with the hair loss or you need help and guidance regarding your situation, uh, you can schedule a call below this video. There's a link for it. Let's talk and find out what is holding you back, what you can do right now to solve the hair loss problem once and for all. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and see you next time. Cheers.